Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. Let's face it, this whole quarantine thing is really sucking bad. So what are we gonna do? We have basically three options. We can be depressed, bummed out that the season's gone and do nothing. We can try to maintain or we can come out of this better. And I think that's really what the goal should be. I know it's hard to say try to stay normal because you know what, it's not normal. The thing that we wanna really focus on is getting better, coming using this time wisely. There's so many things that you can be doing and should be doing. And we've got a nice series of stuff coming. We're gonna show you a quick video on one of our athletes who trained a few weeks back from out of town we're going to kind of show you inside a training session there's some of your normalcy but remember use this time to study to get ahead to come out stronger and that's going to be the goal for all of us to keep our sanity so you guys stay healthy safe check out the video not bad yeah now you're already on top of the axis look at this line So today I had a training session with a young guy named Alex Paulson in from the Chicago area. And so again, we went through and you'll kind of notice how we made the progression changes. He doesn't reverse because largely because the positions don't allow him to. Uh, he started to make some pretty significant changes. Speed started to increase. He was throwing at his PR. Okay, so the first thing that we uh, focus on when we take any new athlete is we're gonna go through, we're, and what you didn't see is how we build the athlete from the start of the throw, and we kind of just let them do what they do. We don't start coaching right away. Always wanna have an athlete come in, show me what they're doing, show me how their routine works, get an idea of how they move, and then from there, we'll start to build through the throw. So at this stage in the video, what we're gonna do is show you how we'd actually already gone through the beginning pieces of the throw, built it up, and now we're starting to uh, explain how the chain reaction works and that we're gonna be applying that to the entire training session. So we think one of the big important things for coaches and throwers is obviously to be able to show, we, as a coach, we're showing what they're doing wrong as well as what they're doing right, so we can try to really relate the difference. And you're gonna see here as we kind of build through the athlete's throw, so one of the important things is when you're doing a, uh, when we're moving, obviously setting up alignment, setting up the positions, and then setting up the chain reaction is gonna be really critical to create changes for the thrower. You know, one of the one of the important things that we do is when we're looking at a beginning thrower versus an advanced thrower, and again, you're gonna notice that um, the, the gross movement is actually always pretty close, and it's the details that are gonna make a huge difference. Those are the things that we talked about, setting up alignment, setting up a chain reaction, and then obviously we'll do some things and you can see we'll compare to uh, more elite throwers so it really shows those differences. And again, you'll see that again, it's close, but those differences make massive differences in how far you're gonna throw. And when you do that day after day, it's gonna result in a big thing. This is why we're typically able to see pretty significant results with our throwers in a matter of, you know, 90 minute training session. So one of the things that we wanted to do is give you a little bit more behind the scenes. Now this athlete, it's the first time we'd ever worked with him. He's got like a good squat, but you can see when the athlete was standing, the athlete would stand with his legs kind of hyperextended in a natural position. That's a good indicator that the hamstring quad ratio is up. That's gonna cause a whole bunch of problems in how the athlete moves. The athlete was having a hard time getting loaded and moving through the position. So moving, he's carrying extra body weight that we kind of refer to as just not usable good functional weight and so getting himself in better condition will also help and that's a real important thing for a lot of you throwers and we are on week two of this coronavirus mayhem and it's just totally changing everybody's life routines jobs it's it's devastating and so you know throwing uh, in perspective of people's health right is or sports it's not to override it but I think at the same time trying to keep your routines as normal as possible I think is a good thing you know we're providing our online members with suggestions and workouts and things that they can do in their driveway in their backyard you know in their basement kitchen whatever try to stay safe healthy try to stay uh, uh, as much to a normal schedule as possible and thanks so much guys we'll see you on the next video